Katie says she doesn't think it'll crash. Matchup Mike is, is uh, he's flip-flopping. He's changing his mind. Now he's at 89%. You felt, it felt so confident before. Jason says not going to crash. Eh, all right. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Let's see. All right. So, oh, wrong pin. Let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and hit that cut button and see what happens. <gasps> what? What? Chat. It's working. It's working. How's it going, everyone? Roger here, Rants About Tech. If you're new here, welcome. Consider hitting the subscribe button for me and uh, to the crew. Yeah, I think I have a crew now. I made at least of eight people. I mean, eight likes right off the top. Let's do it. All right, so that was the scene of this morning's live stream, and I've said it before and I'll say it again. If you're not joining the live stream, you should be. Every day, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, uh, it's a really good time. So the live stream is where I tried the new update that was released overnight, and we have that right here. Um, presumably, it's to fix the notebook issues that I was having in my last video, um, but it's not worded that way. So let's just go ahead and take a look at it real quick. Um, so it basically says, dear users, uh, this update includes numerous function optimizations and bug fixes. We recommend you upgrade to enhance your user experience. I thought that wording was odd. I hadn't seen any, any other firmware updates. Um, let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. Uh, but then the chat log goes on to talk about some updates that we can expect to see. Uh, none of these outline the notebook problems that we were having specifically. Um, and they all look like the same exact release notes from the release they gave or passed out a few days ago. Um, I don't have video of that and I don't have a picture of those release notes. but um, they do look exactly the same. Uh, it, at the very least, there is a lot of the same fixes in this particular patch that they had worded in the last one. So um, I think the only new thing here is what they put at the top, dear users, that part. Um, I could be wrong, let me know in the chat. Through any event, let's go ahead and check out the actual notebook here that I want to show you was fixed. So essentially we have the same exact notebook that I had in my previous video where the e-ink center version 4.0, any cutting of this particular page right here would result in a crash back to the home screen. So we're just gonna go ahead and show that that's been fixed really quick. I'm gonna go ahead and select that just like I did on the last video. And though it does seem to be fixed, seems to have fixed the problem, it didn't fix the speed issue. It's like exactly as slow as it was before. Um, you can expect the same kind of weight you had the last time before the update, but at least the update now selects the actual text that you want to cut or copy or paste or whatever, and allows you to cut it without crashing. Uh, so there we have it, a cut of that same material um, that we had before. Let me put it back, we'll do undo. And I'll also show you that we have the same amount of layers as I had last time as well. Um, so this problem seems to be fixed. And I'm so happy. I can go back to my normal everyday life. You don't understand how this ruined my e-ink trajectory. Like I knew what my e-ink life was like before this happened. I'm like, okay, I'll replace this with, you know, the Nodia 43C would get sold. I'll replace it with this. I can even probably sell my Tab Mini C because this is so good. It looks so good. I just want to use this for all my color stuff. But then that problem happened. And so we had all kinds of problems. I, I put all kinds of things up for sale. Now I can pull them down. Now my life is somewhat back to normal. But just the wording of that update. So we don't have anything saying that it was fixed, but it definitely fixed it. Um, they clearly had a meeting about this. They clearly had a meeting, and I think it might have went something like this. How could we let this happen, Higgins? How was he allowed to get a device? Who, whose head has the role? He was on the blacklist. How did he escape the blacklist? That's why the blacklist is there. These people are not supposed to get devices and unearth problems. How, Higgins? How does it happen? Sir, I don't know. I. He's clearly on the blacklist. His name is there. You, you see it. It's it's on the e-ink tablet. Wait. It was probably written, and and because of the problems we're having with the notes app, it it just went away. It's we're fixing it. We're fixing it. We're, we'll go with the address next time. If it goes to his address, we'll stop it. We'll do it that way. But in the meantime, should we? 
fix the issue here? Should we do something to correct it? Let people know we're on it and that we can we can do something about it. We're we're honest. We can do it, right? We we can fix this. It's not a big deal. And then we'll just let them know, hey, we fixed the notes app problem. It's optimized now. Everything's good. Everything's back to normal. What, what do you think? Higgins, I know you're new here. You don't know, so I'll spare you this time. Else I would have taken you out a minute ago. We're not going to admit we did anything. <laughs> We're just going to put the patch notes out. So... We might say you should do this just as a precautionary measure, but that's as much as we're gonna do. Like, whose side are you on anyway, Higgins? Like, do you work? Does, does he even work here? You're fired. I can only imagine that we as a community made this happen. So bravo, you guys. Bravo, it was you, you guys did it. You guys made it so that I have an actual device to use comfortably, that I can go back to living life and talking crap. But that wasn't the only thing they fixed. There was a couple more things that got fixed too. Let's talk about those. Uh, one of those things happens when you were writing. So I'm gonna bring this up, not that they're issues now, but because they were issues and somebody else might have been having the problem, I'm just letting you know it's been taken care of. They got you. So now, if you were to choose a tool to write with, like say I chose the first tool there, all right, first thing, let's talk about the tools themselves. Uh, you can see the numbers above the tools. That's one thing that was fixed. Uh, now the numbers look reasonable. Uh, before this update, all the numbers had like 16 digits. <laughs> it was like 8.665424321. And that was the size of the line width. It was good times. Also, what that would do is it would carry over to your other devices. Something that never happened before. So usually your pin settings, widths, the ones you have in the toolbar right there are local. They stay local to the device. They don't get synced across all of your devices. So as we can see here, you have those long digits right there. Uh, this was definitely carried over from the Note Air 4C, but since they patched this, it's still looking this way over here on the Go 10.3 because before I got the Note Air 4C, those numbers didn't look like that. <laughs> they looked like they do on the Note Air 4C right now. Um, I haven't let this update or do anything yet. I've taken it offline intentionally so I can see some of the settings that were happening before this was updated. So another thing that was happening was when you write with a certain tool, say I, I select the first tool and I write hello world. Uh, you see that that line width is going to be different from the second tool that I have here and I'll write the same thing. All right, so if I were to do that last night before the update, and I did a whole lot, because <laughs> that's just the way I write. I write with one tool, then I switch to another tool and do some more writing. Uh, when you do that, and when I did that last night, um, the line widths would get lighter. Like I would write with the first tool, and then as soon as I switch over to the second tool and write, the line would be lighter than what the first tool was, even though it was supposed to be darker. And it would correct itself once I hit the undo button, but that's, some, that's something I didn't figure out until like an hour and a half in. <laughs> like, how, how am I getting around this? Because uh, I used to just start writing all over again. I'd go out of the note, notepad, go back in it, and it would be fixed. But if you do the undo button, it would fix it. Um, that seems to be fixed now, obviously, because um, both of those tools are working properly right now. Uh, so that's one thing that was also fixed. So they fixed quite a few things with this particular uh, operating system and optimized it in a few ways. And if you were having any issues in the Notes app, chances are that they've patched that um, and, and fixed it for you. Um, if you don't notice a fix for your Notes app problems or Notes app woes, uh, put it in the comments for me. I want to know what those things are so we can get it tested and, and verified. And um, and maybe we can get a fix pushed out for you guys too. If we complain about them enough, then you know maybe we can get something done. That's at least three things I know of that were, that were optimized and fixed. And I really appreciate that. So um, if you're having those issues, Things should be back to normal for you. I can recommend the Note Air 4C again to anyone who's looking to buy it. Um, and it's just getting better. So, um, And I had no doubt that that would be a thing that they would do. It just needed to be brought to light. Um, and they pushed out a really quick fix to it. I can't take credit for that, although I feel like I should a little bit. Um, but yeah, I was telling my uh, chat audience this morning that if you guys appreciate this kind of work, a lot of times people can't be this honest about devices because they're getting paid uh, for the, from the people who are giving them the devices to review. So um, 
you can't get this kind of work under those kind of circumstances. So if you really appreciate this kind of work and you wanna support that kind of work because the companies won't support it, um, Super thanks are available. Um, I have a membership coming up tomorrow. Um, I have a store, ransomboutech.com, that you can buy uh, merch at to support the channel in that way. So um, support like that keeps channels like this from needing to rely on support from the companies. And we can bring you unbiased and unchecked opinions about these devices and just bring you information like this. So um, yeah, show your support if you can. And uh, I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, everyone, that's gonna be it for me today. I just wanted to put this quick video out there. Um, I didn't want to leave it on a bad note with the last video I had showing that it had an issue um, without putting forth information showing that it had been fixed as quickly as possible. Um, I just think I owed that to the viewers and to the company. Um, I really appreciate Onyx for putting this fix out there as quickly as possible. Um, and yeah, it just benefits everyone. So um, thank you all for watching. Thanks for coming. Thanks to my live stream crew for coming to the live stream and putting me back on track so that I could bring this to light and check it out and do it live. That was awesome. Um, so yeah, again, live stream, weekdays, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern time. Be there. All right, you guys, take care.